Good day guys, welcome to Rumble's Fish Room. So, um, today's not really going to be a fishy vlog, except I am going to be doing one thing fishy. I want to talk about the battery air pump. Alright guys, check this out. Um, the air pump's still going. Uh, I can't remember if I mentioned this in yesterday's video, but I, I fully charged the bank. I've, this has been running for probably like 27 hours, maybe even more. And check this out the power bank is still on three bars so it say it used a quarter of that so 24 hours will say um, is 2.5 microamps or whatever it's called is it microamps drop a comment MHA whatever MHA is um, and it's still cranking also guys don't forget this tank is two and a half foot deep so I'll say it again, this is putting out more air than an Aqua One 1200 because an Aqua One 1200 won't pump to the bottom of this tank. So go over to Blake's channel and hit subscribe because he was clearly right. This is one of the best purchases I've ever made. Um, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, just quickly while we're here, check out the ground cover, guys. Chopping this back, um, my friend Ash... Uh, he told me to go crazy. He said, now that it's rooted, cut it right back to almost nothing. And you can actually see, we've probably got like 60% ground cover. Um, sorry about the light, guys. It just washes out the camera, no, like no tomorrow. But like, that's all shoots all there, all through there. There's all the shoots there. Um, the Siamese algae eaters have cleaned up. They've even pretty much cleaned up that one last patch that they weren't touching. Um, oh, the, the Neonicara fry got eaten, but I expected that in there. So the next time they lay, I might let them hatch in here and then siphon the fry. I think that's the best option uh, rather than taking the eggs. Uh, it's just easier that way. And it makes better parents if you let them do that. Um, the... The Rotalus, is it Rotala? Is going nuts. Um, some bits have pulled out and are floating, but there's that much in the ground now. I don't really think I need to worry about replanting anymore. Um, I do. I want to get a foreground plant. So drop a comment, guys. I'm looking for something easy to grow that won't grow much taller than 20 centimeters. So see how the Rotala, it looks pretty crappy on that bottom half. I want something bright green to sit in front of that. Um, I'm kind of thinking about, see that green plant there? I've got no idea what it's called, but I'm thinking about trying to keep that planted in front of it and try and keep it trimmed. But if you guys have got a suggestion, I know there's heaps of plants out there. I'm just not really good with plant names. The corkscrew vallis I was going to keep trimmed short, but it's keep, keeping extremely short by itself to the point that it's actually dying. I think the tank's just too warm for it. Oh, I've got this plant here. This is cranking. I can't remember what that is. That was a purchase at Morley Aquariums, recommended by Paul. But anyway, let's have a look at the non-fishy chat, and it's basically a little bit of a rant. All right, guys, before we talk about the um, decking, so shout out to all the people who have been buying flower horns because um, flower horns funded some new work tools today. Um, I was on site, my tags on my, on my planer and my jigsaw were like three days out of date. The site supervisor chucked the shits at me, told me I can't use the planer. So I actually was only one kilometer from a tool mart. So I went to buy a planer and then they offered me a deal. The two, uh, the planer, the jigsaw, a free bag and three batteries, um, it was basically 650 bucks. I was, I was pretty stoked with that. But anyway, that's not what we're here to talk about. All right, guys, get ready. Things are going to get negative here. Um, I was actually shaking this afternoon. I was so angry. I've calmed down now. I've spoke to the um, contractors. Um, so as you guys know already, the cleaner was the first contractor to ever come to my house besides friends and family. And he broke my Wi-Fi dongle which I still haven't got fixed. Um, I'm still waiting for them to fix it. But anyway, let's have a look at the next part. All right, guys, one more positive before we go into the negative. 
All right, so the roof's been resheeted. It's not all clear anymore. It's zinc with like opal something. Um, the sheeting is better than before. So that is an improvement. Um, I'm super stoked with that. They've added like, I think they're called triple grips here. Um, I don't know why they've tech screwed them. Like I would have gone with the pan head screw or nailed, but I'm not gonna complain about that. Once it's painted green, you won't see the tech screws. Um, if you're a chippy, what, what's your thoughts? Would you have used check screws or pan heads? Um, so the paint is coming Monday, but not before they fix the decking. Can anybody spot the problem with the decking? If you've got an idea of what's wrong, pause the video now and drop a comment. Three, two, one. All right, now that you've had three seconds to drop a comment, can you guys see, check this out. It looks like a packet of Oreos stacked up. Um, I rang the guy, I said I wasn't happy with it. He didn't even hesitate. He got straight in, his, well he turned straight around. Um, he was back here within 15 minutes. Um, and he pretty much asked me where I want them staggered to. So we marked it out and I actually selected this. Now, that's the first problem. So when I laid this decking, there's no pieces of decking on here that are shorter than four meters. And I actually paid more money for this decking. Most of it's six meter length because I wanted less joins. So unfortunately the guy that did this didn't realize that I'm actually a cabinet maker by trade and I do a lot of shop fitting, which is a lot of solid timber wall paneling, etc., etc. So this is straight up my alley and I wouldn't do this for a client and I just said that to him, like, I'm in the trade, I wouldn't do this, why did you do it? And he was like, yeah, no, no, no worries, I'll change it. So I'm not going to name and shame the company because he is changing it and he replied to me, he, he was back here in 15 minutes, so good on him for doing the right thing. Um, he's tried to get away on the cheap here, but it's not worked. If I was replacing this decking as an insurance job, I would have quoted the job for the linear meters to replace every burnt board to the existing join. And that's what should have been done. Um, that's still not what he's doing. We're only replacing some, but I kind of met him in the middle. I could have been a lot more rude than I was. I feel like meeting in the middle is better than me being an absolute arsehole. Anyway, so the last point, um, <coughs> these screws, they haven't countersunk them. They've just sent them into the Merbau. So this is Merbau wood going into pine um, joists. So the half the screws, well not half, quite a lot of the screws are just spun. So I told him I want them taken out <coughs> and um, drilled deeper. I don't really care if they're still spun because I don't think the decking's gonna warp that much. The centers are only 450. So it should be fine if there's a spun one here and there, as long as the spun ones are the same depth as the rest. Oh, I don't know. Drop a comment. Be completely honest, guys. If you think I'm being over the top, um, I want to hear it. I know I'm being a nightmare customer, but I feel like, I don't know. I just, I he knew, I'm pretty sure he knew I was a tradesman of sorts because when I met him, rocked up in my high-vis gear. I know like truckies and stuff wear high-vis gear too, but if I was working on someone's house and a bloke rocks up in high-vis, I would automatically pay, I don't wanna, no, nah, it's probably the wrong thing to say, but I would automatically pay a little bit more attention to detail because I know someone that's in high-vis is gonna be a tough customer, but he just, I don't know. He was a nice guy. He offered to change it straight away. He didn't even try to argue the point. Um, I had He was chatty. We had chats. Um, definitely wasn't a bad person. I don't think it's a bad company. I just think he's tried to take a shortcut, which which it happens. I get his, he might even be short on cash at the moment because of COVID and stuff, but 
at the end of the day, he's quoting for an insurance company. He's, he's probably tried to do a really low quote to win the job and it's bit him in the ass because I don't want no Oreos on my, pa on my patio. Now, I do understand that once it's oiled, you're not going to see it as much, but the fact, like this, <clears throat> my deck cost me $10,000 in materials, no labor. I paid a lot of money. I paid for, I actually paid more than Merbau. If you, if you went to the, um, if you went to Bunnings tomorrow and bought Merbau, um, I pretty much paid the same price as that, but wholesale. So I paid for wholesale, but A grade. So I, I know it's never going to be perfect, but for me to put that much attention to detail into this deck myself, I want a, at least half an effort put in to the repairs. Cause like, I, I'm not a chippy by no means. I'm a cabinet maker, but I'm pretty sure if any chippy looked at my deck, they would think it's a, a good job. I think it's a good job, but who knows, maybe Maybe he thought it looked shit and <laughs> just did it like that to match my shit. I don't know. But anyway, it's getting ripped up tomorrow. <laughs> didn't even last out. Didn't even last 24 hours down. <laughs> um, yeah, he's gonna replace it tomorrow. So I don't know. He's obviously got a pretty quick supply for materials. Um, I guess there's no shortage of Merbau around. But anyway, I'm I'm sorry it's not a fish related video guys. Well it was. We talked about the air pump, so it is fish. Um work's been hectic. I'm actually working on uh ANZ Bank Cloverda Cloverdale. So if you live in that area and when the new bank opens, have a look at all the um the tellers and the all the wall panelling behind the um ATMs and that. I did all that. Um, I'm sure there's at least one viewer that lives in Cloverdale. Is it? Nah, sorry. I think it's Cloverdale. I think Cl the, but technically it's in Belmont Forum. But yeah, if anybody does go there, drop a comment and tell me you saw all the wall panelling. Um, so for anybody who doesn't know, when you walk through the shopping centre and you see all the wall panelling, it's actually a shitload of work. And the thing I hate most about it is it's so expensive it's so labor intensive and people just walk past it you don't even look at it like i find i ha i don't even look at it when i walk past somebody else's work you know what i mean it's just like it's crazy how expensive it is and how little attention it draws <laughs> but anyway if you're in if you're in the same sort of trade you'll know exactly what i'm talking about sometimes it just feels like you're wasting your time <laughs> But I get paid by the hour, so I just do as I'm told. The architects draw what they want to draw. <laughs> anyway, guys. If you want to see something, drop a comment. I don't know. Oh, I said I was going to strip Africans today. Sorry, guys. As you can see, sun's going down. Um, it's, a, it's a late come home again. Um, especially buying new tools. That pushed me back a good hour and a half because... I had something I had to finish today and oh man, I was raging and like, <clears throat> ah, it, yeah, it just is what it is. Almost $700 on tools. I'm not, I, I wasn't happy, but I guess that's just part of my job. I've got to buy tools, but it was completely funded by flower horns. If anybody's wondering, um, which is, kind of annoying because I had that kitty there to pay my power bill but that's all right I'm probably going to advertise a flower horn today or tomorrow so keep an eye out on Facebook guys either I'll put it on my page and it's one of my selects guys it's it's one of my select selects one of the top three so um even though it's a top three, I am selling it because I could. I just I need to pay bills at the moment, and 
at the end of the day, I can't keep them all. And so I'm selling one of the biggest ones and I'll just keep, I've got that little one, Richard, coming up. So for any of you guys who are wondering about the names as well, I, I've only taken one on board so far, Richard, and that was by Jesse. Um, Richard meaning dick, meaning cock. Yeah. But anyway, if you like this video, guys, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe for more, hit that little red button. If you want to keep hearing insurance updates, well, I'm going to keep doing them anyway because I know a few of you are interested in that. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.